know. And we have a little friend with us, so are you going to behave today? Her mum? You're such a precious wee soul, you know that? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time watching me, then thanks so much. And this is Bear. Say hi. Say hi everyone. I'm the cutest little dog in the world. So obviously you know what this is by the title. So this is a pretty little thing, autumn winter jacket haul. Um, I recently did a story on Instagram and it was to ask you guys what brand you wanted between this and other brands. And this one scooshed the other brand. So um, we went with this. Um, now I think Pretty Little Thing is amazing for so many reasons because I feel like it's really affordable. I feel like regardless of whether you're absolutely minty, whether you get a sugar daddy, whether you are at college, university, student, that type of thing, I feel like it's really affordable for everyone. I feel like even like when I was looking at the jackets and I went to the deer, like the I went from the filters from high to low, the dearest jacket was so still affordable and it was really worth what they were charging. I feel like this is a really good one to do. It can really go out to a lot of people and it's affordable. Um, obviously I know when I do like a Zara haul and things like that it's a little bit not as affordable because obviously Zara can be quite expensive. Bear stop! What do you want over there? There's nothing over there. Play with that and go over there. Your moo cow's over there. Zara can sometimes be a little bit dearer and some people just can't afford to do it. So I obviously know that that's not for everyone but I am trying to make sure on my channel like I think as well I'm not, I don't have a lot of money, I don't, I wouldn't go, I don't have loads of designer items. If I do, they've been bought as a gift or I've really fucking saved for them. So I am just like everyone else, I shop at everywhere that's affordable. And sometimes I go on Zara and I even am like, oh, it's a bit dear that, innit? So yeah, that's the whole point in me doing this is just because I feel like Pretty Little Thing are amazing, they're super affordable and the quality of the stuff's really, really good. So yeah, this is what this is. So yeah. That's why we're here today. So, I am actually wearing Pretty Little Thing. This is like a Pretty Little Thing bustier. Um, I don't, act, I mean, it makes me look like I've got, so this, but this dog, I swear, this bodysuit makes me look like I've got big boobies, but I don't. I actually thought it would be quite cool just with the Pretty Little Thing joggers that I've actually got on here. So yeah, I just thought, I'll just put it on. But I actually can't believe my arms are out. Like if you've followed me for years or you just know me from Instagram, then you definitely know that my arms are something that I don't like getting out. It's just an insecurity of mine. But I'm doing it, fuck it. You know, 2020 has been a shy year, so what's what's add my arms to the situation? Hopefully the lightning stuff's really good. I've tried to like change it from last time because I think I kept the window open with the Zara one um, and you could actually hear my neighbours, the bin men, the lorry men, everything you could hear. I mean, you could fucking hear the birds chirping at this point. So yeah, I have just shut all the windows, I'm going to embrace the heat because this room is like a greenhouse and yeah hopefully the lighting's actually all right. It's like really early in the morning, it's like half eight just now on a Sunday which is wild, I'm up ready at that time. Also guys, I don't have any false lashes on, I think I've got a bit of an eye infection. My eyes are really sore so if you see me kind of like twitching or like thing with my eyes then don't think I'm a mad psychopath. So I can put lashes on because when I went to put them on this morning my eyes were actually streaming and it was kind of burning a little bit. So yeah, I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this with obviously being jackets and like kind of making sure you see everything but I think the best way for me to do this haul is I um, do it like my usual pop up a video, I'll keep the video up a little bit longer the, this time, see it and I'll also upload a photo from the website so that you can actually see that also because obviously that's in like professional lighting and like a, um, a model and things like that so um, you'll actually get to see that like better. I can see I can see that light for now, but whatever. Okay, so let's get started with these jackets. Hold on, my eyes are so fucking sore right now. Okay, so when I was picking these jackets, I thought, right, I want to try and go out of my comfort zone as well. Like I kind of feel with jackets, you do stick to what you know. So yeah, I just thought um, I'm going to like kind of branch out and kind of not pick my usual and also kind of pick one from kind of like different styles of more casual wear, more fancy wear and things like that and just see because I also think sometimes you, you do kind of stick to what you know um, with jackets, well I know I do anyway um, so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to try out different jackets 
and also my see with different styles it is this year because the jackets just change every year. I also feel like, well I know for me anyway, when I moved into this house, my biggest struggle was trying to find somewhere for all my jackets because I am such a jacket girl. And Lee was like, you'll get new ones next year and I'm like, no, 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 no. This is the thing, baby don't know, they might not bring this jacket back out next year, you know? So I've got to fucking keep it till next year and then if they bring it out, I'll get rid of the old one. Like those teddy coats last year, I had about Maybe two of each colour because it was obsessions then. It just became a thing where I just kept getting the same ones over and over again. Yeah, I do that. So let's just get started. I'm going to go into the first one. The first one I have is this little bad boy. So it's like, you can see it, can you? Yeah. But the good thing about this is it's teddy but it's also nylon. A little nylon bomber sleeve and it's got like the kind of pad. And yeah, so it's this little one here and it comes with like a little cute collar. Um, and it's got a zip going down, right down to the bottom, the bottom. And it also has little like jawstring bits so you can actually bring it in so it looks more cropped. Or if you don't like things as tight around your waist and obviously you could leave it more baggy if you wanted. But this one I thought... This one would be quite cool, like see even in like if you kind of wear like leisure wear, like gym wear, out and about, like you actually go for breakfast and stuff in it. This would be quite a cool jacket to kind of make it look more like a fashion item, like fashion-y rather than you're just a lazy bitch that wears gym gear, you know, because that is me. So I thought this one would be really good for that. It'd also be really nice for like black joggy bottoms um, or even like kind of creamy joggy bottoms or really if you wanted to kind of dress down. See this with like high waist leather pants and like a pair of like black Doc Martens or like the like a Doc boot, that type of style. I actually think that'd be really, really nice. Now I got this in a UK 12 just because I feel like cropped on me and my normal size can sometimes be a bit too cropped and in the arms. I've got quite long arms and chubby arms, but anyway. So yeah, this is this one. I actually am going to pop this on because I'm sitting here, so whack it on. Oh my god, guys. I think I might wear I'm actually going for breakfast after this. I think I might wear this out today. This is a cute wee jacket. Like, I'll obviously pop up a video of me wearing it in proper. I'm going to style each item to, like, how I would wear them so you can imagine it as well. And I'll also pop up the model wearing it just so you can actually see the clearer image and better lighting than what I have just now. I actually love this. Like, it's actually surprisingly quite light. I thought because of the teddy it could be quite heavy, but not at all. I love a bomber and the fact that this is like bomber sleeves is actually perfect and then all you would need to do is zip this up I'll show you here zip it up and then pull these little bad boys can you see that pull them in but oh my god this jacket's cute yes 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 10 out of 10 I need to make sure I take this jacket off my boots don't fall out 10 out of 10 no guys 10 out of 10 so does it tell you the price? No, so it doesn't, but what I'll do is I'll make sure to link the price um, on the screen so you guys know how much they cost. Um, and obviously all the links will be down below for you guys also. But that one I really love, like I feel like that one you could style it so many ways, which is also really, really good because then you can take into consideration when you're spending money on something, how many ways can you wear it? Is it a jacket you can wear every day? Is it more of a fancy jacket? That jacket you could really kind of style up to be super casual, or maybe if you were going somewhere with like a nice black outfit, black leather trousers, black jeans, you could obviously also style it with that. So that one is a winner for me. So the next one, this one, I was like, hmm, should I, should I not? Then I thought it's one thing I don't really own is uh, this type of jacket. So this is like a little red bomber. I also got this in a size 12 because it is a little bit, obviously it's cropped. Now, the material of this is kind of like suede, which I thought it was. I didn't actually realise it was suede, but I actually really wanted this one because I have Jordans, like um, the Nike Jordans in the red and black, and I don't own anything red jacket-wise or bag-wise, so I thought, how cool would it be when I'm actually wearing them rather than wearing that with all black because something a bit like it just looks a bit shaved I've got like a pop of red in there how cool would that be with this red jacket and it means now that anytime I wear those trainers I actually can just keep wearing this jacket this one is really good thickness it's, it's not overly thick which is quite good because you don't want a jacket that you feel like when you go in a, like a shop you're absolutely melting and you're like oh I need off like I know kind of like shops at winter and things like that bang up the heating and then you're literally sweating in your jacket but this one 
I actually really love now the colour of this on the website is true and it's what it comes I couldn't work out if it's going to come and it was going to be like an off red or a coral or a peach because sometimes that can happen when you're ordering red but this one is like paint box red like really 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 nice I also like the quality of this one so I'll pop up a video of it of me wearing it with my Jordan so you can see like kind of what I am thinking about when I'm wearing it um, and then I'll also pop up a photo from the model from my website so you can see. Um, but yeah, this one is really, really nice. Now, I maybe could have went a size 10. Oh, also guys, just noticed there, this one comes with the same again. Can you see that? Um, so again, you can probably really cinch it in at the waist if you are looking for more like a kind of puffier bomber effect. Oh, and it also has pockets, guys. Whoa, this jacket's really fucking, does it? Yeah, it's got little side pockets as well. So it's got that to add to it. But this one I really, really like. And again, I'll pop up the price for you guys. So you can see how much it costs and things like that. But that one's like a real winner for me. And like I was saying, like, I always kind of like to go wear those Jordans. And then I'm like, oh, I need to wear all black. But it means that now I can actually kind of style it up with the red. And kind of pair them as like an item that go together. Okay, so another one. So this one is like one of my favourites. I also totally forgot to mention, guys, that, um... Pretty little thing kindly gifted me these jackets, but this isn't paid or anything like that, they've just kindly gifted me the items. Um, so it's not as if it's like, oh, ad or have to like not be honest and give my honest opinion. So yeah, when they sent them, I was like, oh my god, please be in stock, please be in stock, please be in stock. And it came and I was like, it's in stock. So, if you know me, I love double denim, wear double denim, fucking obsessed over double denim. Just double denim or just denim, right? There's nothing better than a good pair of denim. Now, when I seen this, I thought, oh my God, this with denim jeans, white chunk of trainers. You're, you're instantly going to look cool. Can you see? It's half denim, half teddy. So you're kind of cute and cosy, kind of cute and denim. Now, I actually like the fact that denim's kind of just more at the top. It's not overpowering because then it can sometimes look a bit like, I don't know, just a bit funky. It's just not a vibe. Um, now, this also is in a cropped. Now, I did get this in a size 12 because I didn't want it tight and fitted. I did want it really oversized because I will probably wear this with a hoodie under it. Um, like a white hoodie, denim jeans, white chunky trainers. Like, I actually am thinking of wearing that. Maybe wear that today, actually. Um, and I absolutely love this. Now, the thickness of this coat is unreal. I don't know if you guys can see there, can you? Like, the teddy bear is really, really thick. Um, and the denim isn't, which is really good. So, it means it's not going to be too heavy on. Now, it does have the bit at the bottom where it's really quite cinched. So, it will bring you in at the waist. And give you more like a puffier effect when you're wearing it. Now this one's quite cool because it's actually button denim. But then a zip. It's the only thing with the fluff. It does get a little bit jammed sometimes. Okay I can't get that down and out. I'm probably doing that really awkwardly. Oh there we go. So yeah then we have the zip bit here. And it comes with nice big pockets so what i'll do is i'll pop up a video of me wearing it again but this one's a real winner for me and then i'll pop up a, a video or a photo of the model wearing it from the website but i feel like this one again see if you are someone who wears jeans all the time then this type of jacket's perfect just to fling on and make an outfit look a bit more as if it's a thought put into it or a little bit more stylish because something you put jeans and a top on it can just sometimes look a bit meh like yeah like I don't know, I don't know if it's just me, it feels like that when I sometimes just go out in denim and the top, I'm a bit like, oh, I look a bit fucking basic. Whereas, if you put this with it, you're instantly going to look like, okay, this is an actual full-blown stylish outfit. Again, you can re-wear this so many times. This could be like an everyday jacket if you're going to uni, if you're going to work. Or, well, it depends if you wear denim at work. You wouldn't need to only wear it with denim. Like, you could wear this. If any of you have watched my Zara haul, like those cream Zara leather pants, oh my God, with this, would be actually stunning. But I do think with the denim in this, it would just be silly not to pair it with denim. Um, so again, I'll pop up the price, but... I mean, I've said I'm going to wear all three jackets to breakfast this morning, so it's going to be a right struggle, but this one is definitely a winner from me. Now, I actually... I'm sure I got something similar to this last year. Um, if not similar, maybe the exact same one and I'll pop up a photo in a minute for you guys to see. But I got, uh, obviously it's not real leather guys, but I'm, I'm just saying leather, but just understand that it's not real. Like the kind of, um, what do you call it, the waistcoat. So there's no sleeves on this. So I'm going to pop up a photo of it on the website and of me wearing one last year. I don't think it's the same, but I think it's very, very similar. They've just put out a, a more updated um, version of it. I'll pop up both for you guys to see what I'm talking about, just so you can actually see very clearly and perfectly. 
Now this one I got in a UK size 10 because on the website it already stated that it was oversized. So if that's the case, it's already, your normal size is probably going to be one or two sizes bigger. So don't ever, unless you're wanting like extremely, extremely oversized. If you're going to, if something says oversized, stick with your normal. I do anyway. Now there's no fishy smell coming off this which is great because obviously as we all probably know sometimes when you buy things that are leather that are from high street fashion brands they can sometimes have a little bit of a smell on them because they're not real leather. This one doesn't. Um, this one I actually really really like. Now it comes with like a little belt detail at the bottom. Now I would wear this with black leather trousers, black hoodie, black bag, black dog boots. Like I think that kind of is a pure complete vibe. I also feel like obviously with COVID there's not really many city breaks happening this year. Probably most people won't go away for like a winter break but if I was going to like Amsterdam or something like this, this like really really simple but really effective and sometimes just adding this to like a leather trouser you honestly will look cool like a little black beanie um, or a black cap. Oh my god I'm already thinking about it now. Hmm really want to go on holiday now, it's somewhere cold. But yeah, again, this is amazing. Now, if you're kind of like, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I wear a hoodie, I don't then like putting on a big jacket. It makes me feel bigger again. Putting on something like this, just add a little extra layer, makes your outfit look a little bit more thought out, a little bit more like kind of, oh, look at me, I'm so fashionable. But again, it's super light. Now, it is super, super light. I like this. But the kind of leather is a little bit distressed, like when you look quite closely at it, which I like. I like a leather jacket to look a bit old. So yeah, this one, 10 out of 10 from me. Obviously I've told you guys how I would style it and things like that, but there's so many ways you could style it. And I feel like if you are like quite a leather jacket gal, like you fling on a leather jacket all the time, getting one like this could just really change up your outfits. You could style it really so many ways, but definitely for me, like I would keep pairing this with black leather trousers and just style it different ways with like different jumpers, different hoodies and things like that. Now you actually could put this over a blazer. I know it sounds crazy, but it's possible. If you had maybe like a nice charcoal grey blazer, black leather pants, you could then place this over it and it could look quite cool. Obviously it'd be more layers, but it is possible. Now I know if, you, if you're from Glasgow or anywhere really, because if you follow Jilly, Jilly Isabella, that's quite her style. She likes to kind of over, she sometimes wears two blazers at one point, but I feel like you could definitely do that with this one. So it's, you could wear it so many ways, definitely. That's what I'm saying. Right, where are we going next? Okay, so my next jackets are, I've got three more jackets to talk you through. And yeah, um, I'm obsessed with these ones. These ones are a little bit more expensive on the website. However, you are definitely getting what you pay for, if not more. I don't know about you guys, but Glasgow's freezing. It's chilly, like chilly, chilly, chilly Baltic. I'm not even kidding on, it's freezing. Like it's like one of those ones that you actually do need to wear a jacket now. Like I know you're trying to look cute in a blazer, but babe, the blazers are done. That's what I'm trying to tell myself. Now, I, when I seen this jacket, I was like, when I, I was sending over it for a little thing, I was like, please, 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 please be in stock when this video comes out because I feel that everyone will love it. I don't know if you can just hear my belly just rumble there. I love black, thick jackets. I also love when they have cream on them. And the next one I'm about to show you, like now when like chefs go, ah, what is it they say? Is it bravissimo? Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. And they go, ah, oh, like the, I would do this for this jacket. I can actually feel the quality and it's not even full out the bag yet. Oh my eyes, this is what I mean guys, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes. Now I'm going to upload a photo just now so you guys can see what I'm trying to show you because obviously because I'm sitting down, I even think if I was standing you wouldn't get the full effect of this jacket but I want you guys to see it. I am obsessed with this style of jacket. See the fact that you've got the leather mixed with like the kind of, the fluffy kind of teddy bear effect, I just instantly think it looks expensive. Now I've actually seen designer jackets like thousands of pounds, like I seen a jacket the other day and I, I didn't actually look at the brand, it was just on when I went on Google and it was like two and a half grand and I was like, what? And it's genuinely no different from this jacket other than the price. I think these jackets, like I have one like this from last year and it's still in perfect condition. Now the reason why is because the leather part of the jackets are usually more kind of distressed looking which means that you can kind of get a long time out of them. Now this one looks and feels comfortable. It has the massive deep 
thick pockets right here. Let's get a zip going down the middle. Now I like the fact the sleeves are kind of broke up in three different ways like here. The collar is like you can turn it down. Now as you can see guys this is so soft like it's actually just folding over. It's not like a really rigid jacket. Now, I got this in a size 10 because it already came on the website and stated it was oversized. So I stuck with my size. Now I think this is actually the perfect size. It is oversized but it's not ridiculously big. You could wear a hoodie under this or if you weren't wearing a hoodie it wouldn't look stupid. I'm obsessed with this jacket. I'm going to pop up a video of me wearing it and how I would style it. But this jacket for the money I feel like you, it's going to be a really affordable piece. It's going to be a, real, a piece, a jacket that you're going to really see the benefit of wearing. Now if you are by any chance going to city break or going to wait the winter or whatever. This jacket's going to be your best pal. It's meant to look big. The sleeves are meant to look long. I think with like leather trousers and biker boots. Oh, like even that. Three items, right? Obviously you wear a top, obviously. Unless you want to get your, your nips out underneath. But anyway, just wear this with like leather trousers and biker boots. I would re-wear that every single day of the week if I could. It's going to look amazing. You're going to look really fashionable. You're going to look unbelievable when you wear things like that. This jacket's giving me very Sarah Ashcroft vibes at winter. Like, she really does pull out of the bag all year round, but she's quite cool with Doc Martin boots. Like, that's kind of her style. And I feel like this is a real winner. Now, it's a little bit dearer, as I've said, but it's worth it if you're looking for a... I feel like every year you kind of want that one jacket. You can always throw on, but it's going to keep you warm, but it kind of goes with everything. Your man just got you. Now... Only downside, but it's not a downside on Pretty Little Things part, it's a downside on our part, girls. If you're a bit like myself and your foundation is a bit naranja, a bit orange, okay, it was me speaking Spanish. If you wear a little bit orangey foundation, like myself, we are not best friends. We don't like each other, we don't go together. So, that is a downside. We might stain it, however, if you get some varnish on it, if your mum's really good at getting stains out, because I know I'm not my mum is, then it's fine. I Apparently, now I don't know if this is true, right? I don't know if it's true, but I remember a while back, it must have been like last Christmas or the Christmas before, and I'd put up something, a girl would message me and she was like, you do know you can buy something you spray on your jacket to prevent your makeup sticking to it? And I was like, huh. I've obviously not took it on board at the time, or I would have it, but apparently there is actual something you can buy that you can spray on your ja your jacket and it'll stop your makeup sticking or if it even goes on it's so much easier to come off. I'm not sure if it's true, I'm going to try and google it if it's the case I'll let you guys know. But moral of the story guys is stop buying orange foundation and we won't damage the jacket. Now the good thing with Pretty Little Thing jackets is you can just sponge them down, you can just bang them in a the washing machine so there'll be no problem in getting it off. I just want to put this on, like I just want to go to bed with it actually and just cuddle up. But yeah, this jacket for me is a winner. I'm actually probably going to do a post on this one on Instagram, so if you do follow me on Instagram you will see me wearing it and then you can see how I've styled it, but this one is 10 out of 10 for me personally anyway. I would say also with that one guys, size and wise, if you're similar size to me where you're like a 10, 12, quite tall, that one will be perfect. Now it will go a little bit below your bum, not fully the whole way down. It's not overly long, but it will cover your bum. But that's actually quite a good thing because in rainy or like really snowy cold weather, you don't want your arse cheeks to get cold, do we? No. So, second last jacket. What is the time? Oh, I am... Oh my God, I had a heart attack there. I thought it was... was a... Oh my God, I thought it was 11 there. It's 10. Might be going for breakfast at 11. Oh my God. Oh my goodness me. See when I say I'm going to wrap myself up in this? Exactly what I'm, oh my god, I, oh, I forgot about this jacket. Now this jacket, I'm going to pop up a photo so you guys can see perfectly. This jacket was a little bit more expensive on the website, but when I tell you this feels like you're hugging a polar bear, it's what it feels like. It's a lovely green colour. Now, it has like, like the kind of, um, what do you call that? You know that kind of effect that you get on like a kind of trenchy kind of coat? It's got that on it obviously as well in a teddy bear. Now guys, this is so soft, like unbelievably soft. It's in an emerald green colour. Now I think just, I don't know why I can't speak today, I don't know what the problem is. Now that we're in the autumn, I feel that this kind of khaki green kind of colour is the vibe. It's what's in. That and browns are really, 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 in tan are really taking a force this year. This is stunning. Now this jacket, you actually can wear more times than I think people expect. I think when people think, 
oh you're better just sticking with your kind of black colours, your greys and things. Me not so much, I don't really like wearing really just the same thing over and over again, I really like to change it up. This jacket you could wear with all black, this jacket you could pair up with denim, this jacket you could pair up with khaki, you could pair up with cream, you could pair up with nudes, you could actually wear it with brown. There's so many ways you can wear this jacket with so many colours and I feel like if you are looking for a little bit more expensive jacket, a little bit better quality, a little bit more lavish, then going with a jacket like this is going to be amazing. It's really going to make your outfits look a little bit more, as I was saying earlier. Now, the winner for me on this jacket is it comes with a hood, guys. don't know if you can see it here, but it comes with like a big teddy. It's like, what do you call her? Um, oh, what do you call her? Is it Red Robin? No. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. What? What's that Disney person called? Oh, fuck knows. Anyway, she basically has like the little hood. Oh my god. Like, I just want you to imagine it. Now, imagine me if I. Fuck it, let's get it on. Now, imagine me, right? Now, obviously, Christmas markets might not happen this year, but we can just pretend they are, okay? At the Christmas market, little hot chocolate, you know, standing with the BF, looking cute. Guys, I am loving for this jacket. Oh, my God. Now, now that it's on, it's a little bit more fitted. Okay, take the hood down, not look like there's a person. But you can see here, it's not overly thick, it's not too much. On the sleeve front, it fits me perfect. I actually really like this. It's Now it's long. Okay, I'm going to show a pop of a video now of me wearing it so you guys can see how long it is. But I, oh, little nip slip. I love this. It's so soft. It's so comfortable. It's a bit of me. Um, and the colour is a winner. I did want something khaki this year because I've got loads of things that I want to wear with khaki. And I feel like as time's going to go on, we're going to see this colour in Zara and things like that. And other, like, really kind of coming out in like, leather pants and things. I feel like khaki is really going to win this year, along with brown. I love it. It's definitely a winner for me. Now, it has a button detail. Hold on, I'll take it off and show you guys. Don't want my boobs to fall out though. That could be a problem. Now, it has like the kind of the button clip detail as well. Um, and what I like about the hood is the hood is actually quite big so it's, and it's soft. It's going to just drape at the back. It's not going to stick up and look quite stupid, I think. Now, I got this jacket in a size 10 just because with it being quite a long coat, I didn't want it to look like it was drowning me. And I would say size-wise, it fits me perfect. I actually love it. I think the quality, I think it looks very, very expensive. Like, I feel like if you put this on, people are going to be like, oh, she got the money, huh? I mean, there's no problem with that. So yeah, this one I actually love. And like I said, guys, be a little bit more bold. Go out there and get a jacket that is a little bit different colour. Like, don't always stick with your creams and your blacks and your nudes. Like, branch out a little bit. Because jackets like this, you can keep all year. You can act well, I know you can keep all year. You can wear it all the time, unless it's summer, obviously. But you can wear it for years. Like, you could actually keep this jacket for years, in my opinion, anyway. And the, honestly, guys, it's so soft go to sleep with this on i mean it's perfect i just love the color i think the color looks super rich it looks super super expensive also does it have pockets let me tell you yes it has big deep pockets in it as well which again i actually like about a jacket like this because it's um it's really what do you call that practical it's really practical so yeah this one is a winner for me and i'll pop the price up for you guys but yeah i actually love this one now last jacket for me is it oh it is oh sad i hate when it's the last one is this now i picked this up because i tend to not buy these type of jackets just because i feel like i don't suit them i feel like i just don't pull them off the way girls pull them off like tia lineker wears them who else wears dion crow she wears one like this who else wears jackets like this? Sit, um, sit there, J. Holder. Oh my god, Miss Joslyn. She rocks jackets like this. I feel like I look like I'm either one, try to look about 40, or like an FBI agent, Inspector Gadget type of thing. It just doesn't seem to work for me. So I'm going to pop up a photo for you guys of the website so you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, the reason why I'd, I actually added this to my basket and then to take off and added something else, and then I was like, no, 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 no. That's the same jacket as what you've already got in your basket. What's the point in doing that? This might be this is meant to suit everyone. So I took it out and put this back in. The reason why I done it was more because of the back detail. I thought, right, this could really change this jacket up. Now, it's like a long kind of trench coat. Quite a smart coat. But it has this nude check detail at the back. Now, I love it. 
I do love it, but I don't think it's very me. But I might feel different once I put it on. I got this in a size 10. Yeah, I got this in a size 10. And it is, it's a trench coat. I was getting that right. I was thinking wearing this with, like, my cream leather trousers from Zara. I always struggle with my footwear. I'm like, can you wear trainers with this type of coat? Does that look cool? But, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pair this. And can I just really casual it down? I even think with, like, really nice jeans and, like, white chunky trainers, little hoodie it could actually look quite cool so I am going to try and style it and kind of like I was telling you guys to do like branch out and actually try and wear something a little bit more different rather than my usual bomber or denim jacket now the quality of this one is actually really good which I'm quite surprised about because I didn't, I didn't know how to expect this one to be now it has little tie bits going round the sleeve so you can tie it and it'll kind of bring it in and make it kind of look a bit ruched um, and it comes with a belt now the back detail I actually love the fact that it's check I feel like it can be styled so many different ways i think that also gives it more of a casual effect where you can kind of wear it with jeans or rather than being quite fancy but i also do feel like if you were going out somewhere for dinner and you had a nice dress on and put something like this on the top it would kind of fancy up a little bit i would say out of all the jackets it's my least favorite in the sense where it's not really my style and i'm not like oh my god wear it a million million ways and i'm dying to get it on but then i haven't tried this type of jacket yet this is also a good jacket for i feel like this jacket is very london vibes like it's very like oh look at me type of jacket it's also good if maybe it's cold but it's not actually freezing like if you don't live in glasgow then you're probably like abby it's not even that cold but trust me in glasgow it is so this jacket is good just to kind of put on it's light but you're still appropriate for the weather now it is long it is a very long coat so i'm five foot eight so bear that in mind when you're seeing it to the length of me i actually do love the way a coat is super long on a girl i think it's, it just makes you look really like mary kate and ashley vibes so yeah just bear that in mind when you're thinking about size i am five foot eight um, and i'm wearing it with chunky trainers but I, just so you can kind of imagine what I'm kind of styling it with. Now it comes with like the tortoise um, buttons. Now I did say in my last haul I don't like them on a blazer, a black blazer, but I do like them on other things. It's just if they're on black, I don't like them paired with black. But yeah, this one I actually am quite surprised about and I'm going to really try and give it a go and wear it and style it and see how I get on. So hopefully you guys like that one on me also. But I feel like you've just got like a comfortability with a jacket and I'd probably say this is my least fave out of all of them. But I'm going to be more adventurous, guys, and try and wear things that I'm not actually used to. So, we have got through all of the jackets, which is unreal. Um, I am currently wearing PLT, like I told you at the beginning. I will link these below. These are just, like, really comfy joggers. Um, and like I said, like a little bustier. I am actually buzzing over this just because it's Pretty Little Thing. Like Pretty Little Thing is such a big brand. So for them to even kindly gift me items is just, I mean, it's insane. Especially for YouTube. Like obviously I've got a following on Instagram. So brands would maybe be more like, yeah, of course. But on YouTube, I'm not really big at all. I'm really, really teeny weeny. So yeah, it means a lot that just starting out, I'm getting opportunities like this. Like it really does mean the world. And hopefully you guys have liked it. Hopefully it's really kind of what you guys wanted to see. And hopefully there's something in this haul that maybe you were like, oh, I've, I've seen that and now I've seen it in a video. Or, oh, I'd maybe go and get that or whatever. But yeah, no, I am actually super buzzing. To be honest, out of all the... I mean, the, I did say the strange one was my least favourite. But I am 110% keeping all of these jackets. Like my mum was at me yesterday. She was like, you're not keeping all them, are you? And I was like, nah, I can't. Mum, it's too many jackets. I oh, am. Yeah. I'm keeping them all. So where they're going, we do not know. And I better start figuring that out because my house is getting a bit overcrowded with jackets and things like that. But love them all. Love them all. They're part of the family. But yeah, I actually think I might keep this outfit on for breakfast and just put on the little bomber one of this one. Because I think I look, you know, quite, you know, like morning-y. Although I think I could maybe get a wee bit too much boobs out for breakfast. What do you guys think? Maybe, yeah, maybe I should put something on. Or maybe not. Maybe just get them out, you know. Embrace them. Embrace what I've got. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll make sure everything is linked below. If it's out of stock, then I do apologise. And if it's out of stock when I link it, I will try my best to link a replacement. I will make sure I link my sizes and everything like that. And, and in case you've missed it, I'm five foot eight, but I'll, I'll link that again below. I'll not link it, I'll tell you below. Just so that when you're thinking about jackets and that, you can figure that out for height, especially the long ones. I'm trying to think what else I need to like link or anything. Oh, I'll also link this baby fit that I'm wearing. It's just super comfy. Um, the bodysuit's actually probably one of the comfy things I've ever put on. I don't even need, I don't even have a brown. It's just super comfy. But yeah, I hope you guys have liked this one. It has just been quite quick. It's just been like a little, oh, I say that. It's probably like, what, 30, 40 minutes long? You're like, baby, it's not quick. 
But yeah, I hope you guys have watched it. Quite a few of you that have had quite a lot of DMs this week. I am from people saying that we're isolating and that they're kind of struggling and, and it's hard going and things like that. It totally is. So hopefully, and a few of you had actually said that my videos had kind of cheered you up a little bit and mainly arguing was quite funny for you guys to watch and when you were bored and things like that. So there is going to be loads of videos coming up like with literally when this one goes up there'll be another one going up a couple of days later so I hope to keep you guys busy if you are um, in isolation at the moment either if you've got Covid or if you haven't isolated because someone you know has Covid then I hope you're all okay I know it can be quite a hard time because when you're and I think as well people like asking a tweet the other day and someone was like people moan about isolating we all had to do it in May eh, in March no, that's totally different. When the whole world was in lockdown, there was no FOMO. Everyone was in the house, there was nowhere to go, there was no nothing to do. And even though there's literally nothing to do in Glasgow because of the new um, restrictions that have been put in place, it's still so much harder when other people are out and about and you physically cannot leave the house. It's a very lonely time. So as I always say, guys, and I feel like I need to say it more and more and more, just now because if people are isolating it's a hard time if you ever need a wee chat you know you can always message me on instagram or on here feel free to chat i'm always here for people also guys we got to 10k subscribers we actually got by it where is my phone so i did a giveaway for 10k um let me think i'm trying to think when this is gonna up will the winner, the winner be announced i don't know i don't know however I did a giveaway on Instagram for my 10k subscribers, you guys. Oh my god, I did not expect the reaction. It's The post has got 17,563 likes and currently at 11,299 comments. I can't believe it. I was in shock. Now, it's not even amazing like what I'm giving away. I'm just, I just bought like slippers and vouchers and things like that and got like, little, like, little gifts and stuff. But... Oh my god, so many of you guys entered it and I'm absolutely over the moon. And so many of you guys wrote really, really nice comments as well, which was so lovely. But I'm going to go check just now on YouTube what's, how many subscribers were that? Oh my god, we're at 11.9, 11.9. And I just, I know that's nothing, right? And I know that people who maybe don't like me if they see this or maybe people who are just really spiteful or trolls will be like 11.9 thousand she's fucking greeting over it but you need to bear in mind guys, I just started this not even at the beginning of lockdown, it was kind of like midway through. That is amazing for me, like, that people took the time out to do that, and also the fact that, like, some of my hauls have got, like, I don't know, over, like, 40,000 views, like, I am baffled by that, and it's so, so nice, I really do appreciate it, but I, I just, I'm absolutely buzzing, like, this is just something I've done just for fun, and it is still for fun, and this is what I'm actually so happy about, I actually enjoy it, it's something that I, I love to put my time and effort in, um, like everyone around about me, like my pals, my Lee, my mum, my dad are like, it's so good. You, you actually can see how happy you are when you're doing it. And I get so buzzed when I'm like, oh my god, someone said this or whatever. So honestly, guys, I probably say it in every video, but it honestly is amazing. And since I've done this giveaway, I'm like, oh, it's so nice that people are just genuine. Because I have noticed recently that people are not so genuine and people are just not nice. So I honestly do appreciate all your kind comments. I appreciate your feedback. Um, as well because I am still learning so it's better that we do it together you tell me what you guys like because you're the ones that are watching it um so yes to 11.9 of your troops I am buzzing I'm going to try my best to stop swearing I know I'm the worst I'm the worst I need to stop swearing but it's the East End in me just eager to come out that's what it is but also I think this this video is going to be a good one because I've got my arms out. It's one I'm gripping in diary like Abby got her arms out. I've just always been insecure about them. I don't know. It's just a thing I've always had. It's just one that I've I fucking hate the hangs, I would actually cut them off if I could. Um, but yeah, I thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this has been good. There's going to be loads more to come. Any other videos you guys want me to do, or any other like pretty little thing ones that maybe you want me to like do a specific style again, please comment below. Let me know what else you want. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and please comment and please subscribe, as we all know what I have to say. I actually always forget in every video, I'm like, remember to say that then, remember to say that then, remember to say that then, and I get there and I'm like, oh, like, comment and subscribe, because I'm honestly so forgetful. But, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Any questions, you're more than welcome just to ask. Um, I hope everyone has a great day. I'm off to go stuff my face with some scrambled egg and some toast. Um, but, yeah, thanks a lot, troops. See you for the next one. Bye.